So what I'll be showing you how to do today is how to solve a circuit using your TI Inspire CX CAS calculator. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is set up your circuit, you know, choose directions for your currents. I'm using nodal analysis here, by the way. Get all of your equations set up. Once you have your equations set up, that's actually the hard part when using this calculator. Um, putting in all the variables and all that are, is very simple with this calculator. You do not have to set up a matrix or a system of equations or anything like that. Well, I guess technically this is a system of equations, but you don't have to zero out any of the values or put them in order or anything like that like you would if you were using a matrix. So press the on button on your calculator. Go to the calculate screen. Press menu. Down to algebra. Go solve a system of equations. System of linear. Oh, there we go. Solve a system of equations and you're going to input how many variables you have and what those variables are. So in this case, <clears throat> we have V1, V2, V0, and IX. So we have four variables, and then you go ahead and punch those in. V1, comma, V2, comma, V0, comma, IX, and press Enter. Then you see it's going to pop up, have everything there, and you're just going to input your uh, equations here. Pretty simple. So we've got IX equal to V2. Go down. V2 minus V1 equals 12. Come down again. Negative 2IX minus V1. minus parentheses V2 minus V0 and then minus IX equal to 0 scroll down then we've got V2 minus V0 minus V0 equal to 0 and once you've got those input you see you didn't have to manipulate any of the numbers or anything like that it's all right there um, I like it to give me approximate values, so I just press Control, Enter, and boom. There you have your answers. It's pretty simple. Uh, you don't have to set up any of the equations, zero anything out or anything like that. It's fantastic. I love this calculator. I'm using it for principles of electrical engineering. That's why I bought this calculator, and it's just badass. I love it. So that's just how to use one of the functions with this calculator. Very awesome. Thank you for watching.